it's Sam's birthday and we're dining at her favorite Disney Springs restaurant. Let's celebrate. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And you are watching the Think Park Foodies. We're back at Disney Springs because it's somebody's birthday. Me. Yes. Hi. It's Sam's birthday, and we're dining at your favorite restaurant, Sam. Wine Bar George. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. We haven't been here in a minute for sit down dinner. So, Wine Bar George was started by George Miliotis. They actually have a location in Terminal C at the MCO. I did a review on that on my wrestling video years back. We love all the food there. He's one of 273 Master Mas Sommeliers. I got that one. You got it. Yes. Um, so Master Sommelier is someone who has a fine flavor and taste for wine, but the foods are craftfully, or the, the, pal the palate of the foods are craftfully curated as well, right? Yeah, it's not as an extensive menu as some other places in Disney Springs, but like what I think they do have, I think is always amazing yeah. you taste the freshness and the quality yeah and i always feel like the staff is amazing there i always feel like they're proud to work there yeah and you always see george in there too working like yeah. it's just it's a really wonderful place and they have dole with moscato like a frozen drink that's really good that i like george meliotes actually opened california grill as well which is my favorite restaurant in all of Walt disney World. probably my favorite restaurant of all time it's at the very top of the contemporary resort we've done a bunch of reviews on there beautiful views of magic kingdom and the fireworks from there um, so he has a long history with Disney, obviously an eye for flavor. I guess it wouldn't be an eye for flavor, a tongue for flavor. <laughs> and uh, the interior of the restaurant has like a rustic type of aesthetic. It's more modern feeling, but the food is just so good. Uh, I can't wait to eat there. They're kind of known for these like shareable type of plates they have. So you would buy like either a large steak or something like that that you would share with the table. What we're probably going to do is get a lot of the smaller plates, which they have some great things like those mac and cheese bites, oh, right? Oh, the crispy mac and cheese bites are the best. They're like elevated comfort food, you know? Yeah, and I did like sign myself up for like every birthday reward possible. <laughs> so one of them that I did receive was for Sprinkles Cupcakes, a free cupcake. So we are probably going to head to Sprinkles to yeah. get my free cupcake. And maybe ready? Ready. All right, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us while we celebrate Sam's birthday here at Disney Springs. Wine Bar George is going to be in the landing section of Disney Springs, which is actually this section we're looking at right now. It includes a lot of great dining options such as Boathouse, Gideon's Cookies. It's actually right across from Gideon's Cookies. In the mythos of Disney Springs, the landing section is actually where all the boats kind of dock. Obviously a landing. So you always have to walk over some form of bridge to get to the landing. It's kind of like a little island. If you can't dine inside, you can head over to the basket, which is the quick service window over here. It is some really amazing bites over um, right here. They have like an empanada, right, Sam? Yes, and the, you can get the mac and cheese bites here and the Dole Whip drink to go. So it's a good option if you can't sit down inside. Yeah, it's, it's more of a hand pie than an empanada, but the food here is just so good. Didn't make our list of top quick service eats because it's like only outdoors, but food is definitely high quality. All right, we've made it to Wine Bar George. I can tell you that I haven't had this and I really want to try it, the Beer yeah, Gray Short Rib. They do change up their menu seasonally, so those are definitely some seasonal options, but these ones over here are always here and they're all very good. Yeah, we gotta get this one right here, the mac and cheese bites. Look at this really cool door handle. All right, let's hit in. All right, so we were able to dine on the second floor. On the first floor, you can see like kind of the big bar, the wine fridges. Uh, second floor is nice. It's kind of a little bit more quiet up here. They also have a bar on the second floor. They have outdoor as well as indoor seating. The outdoor seating has beautiful views of Disney Springs and the landing section. And the incandescent lights are made with wine glasses. It's very nice. Definitely adds kind of like to the rustic modern aesthetic. And we already ordered all our food, Sam, right? We did. I, he was like, have you ever been here before? And I was like, absolutely. Yeah, we knew exactly what we wanted. I had never ordered so fast in my life. All right, so we've received our drinks. Sam, you got your classic that you always go for here. It's not wine, right? It's always wine in it. Oh, it does, okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's a Dole Whip, uh, froze Scotto. So it's frozen Dole Whip and Moscato, which is a sweet wine. It's so good. I'm actually gonna say 10, because I love Dole Whip. And I like sweet wine. All right, so I actually got a mocktail. This is the cherry 
smash, and I have no idea what's in this. I can't find it on the menu, but they suggested it when I asked for mocktails, so let's see how it is. Definitely lime forward. Obviously, you can see the limes in there. No, that's Sprite. I was gonna say, it's probably like a Shirley Temple, maybe, with lime. It's like a, you're right, it's like a, an elevated Shirley Temple. Cherry flavor with Sprite, hint of lime, but not too sweet. Good, I'd give that again. I'll give it an eight. I think it's a good mocktail. All right, so this is the Sagnaki on fire, and they light this with a giant flame at your table. They use brandy. A very expensive brandy. Yeah, to ignite the flame, most places don't use that expensive brandy that they use, and the type of brandy that they use also makes it a bit more savory. So usually Sagnaki can be a little sweeter, I, I suppose. This is what they're telling me. I'm not a Sagnaki connoisseur. This is a traditional uh, Greek dish. Yes. And they do give you crustinis on the side, and you can ask for more. So, uh, George Miliotes. Miliotis, I believe Miliotis it's pronounced. It's Greek. Who doesn't want cheese on fire? The cheese is so good. Perfect crust. So good. Um, the crackers are just crackers. Crustinis. Oh, they're good, though. The cheese is like overpowered, and there's actually some flavor in that. And nothing, well, the thing about this restaurant, for the food, I don't feel like any particular flavor is overpowering. It's like almost anti-Guy Fieri food. Like Guy Fieri food, I feel like is like saturated and everything's going on. These are very simple dishes that are just elevated. They always use such quality ingredients that they don't need to like overdo it. Yeah, and everything's balanced. I think like the seasonings are very balanced. Really good. I'm gonna give the Sagnaki a nine. I mean, you know, I'm gonna go ten. Yeah, I was gonna. Say, I think we're. I think we're getting ten happy lately. Yeah. I've been noticing that. Yeah, I, I'm happy to go for ten happy for this restaurant because the food just is so good. I never had Sagnaki, so maybe I'm not a good connoisseur of it or a good judge of the flavor of it. But I feel like you could just tell it tastes like quality. It's really good. All right, we also got the meatballs. They have a polenta at the bottom, right? Yeah, and I think it's like a three cheese uh, polenta on the bottom. You get three house-made meatballs. They're so tender. They just like fall apart in your mouth. The polenta is so creamy and cheesy. But it's crazy, like, like I said before, like nothing ever feels like it's overdoing it. Like it still doesn't feel heavy, even though it is kind of a heavy dish. It has a rustic tomato sauce. These are really good meatballs. I'm gonna give them a nine. Yeah, yeah, I, I, everything is just so good here. I feel like this is gonna be a recurring theme during this dining review. All right, so this is the Birria braised short rib with triple corn grits. And um, pepita crumbles. Oh, it looks like little seeds, it looks like pumpkin seeds almost to me. It has kind of a sweet smell to it. All right, with short rib, it should just you should just be able to use any old man. Just look at that. Didn't even use, need to use that knife. Look at how juicy. Look at that. How flavorful. We got a little crust on there. Let me get some of this, some of these little crumbles. I felt like there was no way that this could be bad. <laughs> the short rib is so juicy and tender. And then there's just this light, very light hint of sweetness. I, don't, I can't even explain it. I love, I love grits too, like cheesy grits. These are like a savory grit. I prefer savory grits over sweet grits, which is me. And then the... What's really good about the fennel, whatever seeds that they're using, except for fennel, it's that it adds a great texture. So you have this softness with the meat, and then you have kind of like this little crunch that comes after it. I'm gonna go nine. That's really good. I'm on the border of 10. I wonder if you're gonna, if you're gonna go 10, Sam. I actually really need you to try this. All right, so Sam's gonna have her hand at the short rib. You can just feel it. How it falls apart. It just melts, it just falls apart. Did you taste that light, like ever so light sweetness? Yeah, the corn grit is so good. And then the little crunchiness from the fennel. Like they, every dish I've ever had here, no matter what it was, was just executed perfectly. Sometimes like I've tried things here that I didn't even or not normal flavors that I would like, but just because it was so well prepared, I just enjoyed it so much. This is such an amazing short rib. 
I agree with your nine. All right, so I already know these are gonna be a 10. They're the mac and cheese bites. They're probably one of our favorite things on the menu. They're the best mac and cheese bites I've ever eaten in my entire life. If you know a better crispy mac and cheese bite, let a girl know, but these are amazing. There's fresh pecorino cheese on top. They're so cheesy. You could even, oh, you could even have a little pull. Look at that. Only the best ingredients here. There's like a little bit of sauce at the bottom of it. But the macaroni is like cooked perfectly and it's like every other dish, not overpowering. They just, just the quality of the ingredients just elevated. 10. Yeah. These are like worth hurting for. They're so good. Okay, let's, let's uh, just look at it. Look at the noodles. Sharp and creamy, which is the perfect flavor, flavor, flavor combination for mac and cheese. Perfect crunch on the outside, soft on the inside. The tomato sauce adds just this, this light, light moisture and slight acidity. I said, I'm not saying that right, but you know what I mean. They're so good. 10. 10 every day of the week, and maybe twice on Sunday, but maybe twice every day of the week, too. Just so good. They brought Sam a complimentary birthday dessert. You have to blow out your candle. Oh, I have to make a wish first. Yeah. What's great is they gave the dessert and they didn't sing. So it's like... Yeah, thank you. I was a little nervous. I'm still nervous. 10 out of 10 service here. All right, so this actually isn't a cupcake. I couldn't tell in the dark. It's a key lime pie. We never had their key lime pie. We have had their olive oil cake, which is very good. I will say, sometimes free things do get higher numbers. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of key lime pie, but this is so good. It's so tart and it's so light and re refreshing. And you can definitely tell that it's like house made. Like you can tell that the the bottom crumb crust is, is a homemade crust. It's the perfect way to end this meal. I'm gonna give it a nine. Nice. So I had to try my hand at the key lime pie as well. So let's see how it feels. Look at that little key lime dusting right on top. And they have it like this compote at the bottom. Is it like raspberry salmon? Is it, did, you get, did you get a tartness off of it? Yes. Perfect texture. It's like airy a bit, right? Yeah. Man, that's so Like our server said, it's it's just like a great palate cleanser. The tartness, the tartness from the compote, tartness from the key lime, a little crunchiness. Mm. The crust is very good. It's not too hard, not too soft. Perfect consistency, the crust. It's amazing. I'm gonna go nine too. I can't imagine a much better key lime pie. All right, we are leaving Wine Bar George. But our night is not over. Birthday girl over here gets some free snacks. So where are we heading? Sprinkle. And we gotta get Frank a pumpkin. All right, so right next to Wine Bar George is a little walkway where Gideon's is. It's in between Morimoto and Raglan Road. It's gonna head over this bridge and Sprinkles will be on our left-hand side. Here we are, Sprinkles. And just so you know, this is actually the town center section of Disney Springs. Same area you can find Deluxe Burger. So when you go in Sprinkles, they actually have these kiosks that you order from, and then they call your name at the front, so you're gonna have to have a credit card. Um, they do have the pup cakes in here, so you're gonna buy the cup, buy the cupcake, get packs, and then if you keep scrolling, they've got cookies, and where is our pup cakes? I know they're Did in you here. Get the, oh, there it is, pup cakes. Oh, you go to the top. There we go. All right, so Sam is too full to eat her free cupcake right now. Wine Bar George gave her a little key lime pie and just threw her right off. So unfortunately, won't be getting a review on that. But when I was buying Sam, uh, not sorry, not Sam's, but Frank's pup cups, they have dog pup cakes. Pup cakes, pup cakes. They have dog dog cupcakes here. I couldn't help myself. You didn't want to be left out. They won. Yeah, um, I was the only one without a cupcake. I had to get a cupcake. I got the black and white cupcake. When it's packed here, so many cupcake flavors get sold it's out. It's also late now. It's, it's after eight at this point. Yeah, late for me. I'm usually in bed by this time. 
This is black and white. Look at that. So it looks like a chocolate cupcake. Sprinkles, obviously sprinkles on top. They're out of their signature sprinkle cup. Sprinkles made our wedding cake and it was very good. I really did like our wedding cake. They're not like my favorite. I don't go out of my way for them. But, but I will say, I think they've perfected the icing to cupcake ratio. Because their cupcakes go into the icing a bit. And then you get some icing on these corners. Yeah. So they have good... That ratio is hard. Like Disney cupcakes, like... Well, top heavy. Yeah, super top heavy, super icing heavy. This is a good ratio. Because of that, I'm going to give it a 7. I think it's... Well, let me... Actually, let me... Be done. It's very moist. Ratio's on point. Happy birthday, Jay. It's your birthday. I'm just celebrating. I'm celebrating your life because it made mine better. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give this... <laughs> I'm going to go 8. I'm going to go 8. It's really good. Good dark chocolate flavor. So the, the it's vanilla icing with a chocolate cupcake, basically, with chocolate sprinkles. The balloon is up right above you. Look. Perfect timing. It looks a beautiful shot. All right, so that does it for Sam's Disney Springs birthday with a special appearance by George Miliotes. We didn't get it on camera, but we got to meet him, right? We've met him before, but... Yeah, but we got to talk to him more this time about him opening California Grill. And he was like, he wipes down the tables at his restaurant. He right? has never not been there any time that we have gone there. Yeah. And he's looking. very down to earth. Yeah. And I just think he's like an amazing person. So let's post a picture over my face right now so you can see my awkward photo. Sam looks beautiful. Right? And uh, Sam, what was your favorite thing that we ate? I think I know Literally what it is. Literally it's everything. Yeah. <laughs> because I love everything there. I've never, like, I, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record with everything mm -hmm. I was saying with each dish, but it's just, that's just how I feel. Like, yeah. I just feel like it's quality and it's always just executed well. I can name one thing. The mac and cheese. Mac they and cheese are, bites are like, always amazing. number one. If you like mac and cheese bites, if you just like, like, good comfort food, like, you have to try those. They're the best mac and cheese bites I've ever had. Close second is the short rib, the Beery of Ray short rib. Sure. Amazing. Um, I could have ate, ate a whole one of those to the head. The sprinkles, cupcake, not incredibly in. I, mean, I should say it's I'm not. In, not that I'm not incredibly impressed. It's the weakest thing out of everything I ate, but I still gave it an eight. So. Yes. And sign up for all the free birthday rewards <laughs> and everything. Yeah. I got. What did I get? I got free Starbucks, a free waffle from Waffle House. Free iced coffee from Cinnabon. Yeah. Free crumble cookie. And this is like the only band. ones that I can remember. Like, there's yeah. more. You're hustling. Birthday hustler. I mean, I spend enough on food on a regular basis, so like, I would like to get some free things. Yeah, no, they definitely made all their money back. Especially yeah. when we ended up at Sprinkles. The goal for you giving that free stuff is for you to spend money when you get there. And, and we, we just did. did. <laughs> we would not have been here because we usually don't go to Sprinkles. So, yeah. you won. You won today, Sprinkles. <laughs> And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time when videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. All right, Frank. It's time. Bottle. For your pup cake. Look! Look what Dad has! Oh, now he sees it. <coughs> they do have paper on them, so just make sure to take the paper off. I'm gonna break it just because he's crazy and he'll eat it. Yeah, he'll try to swallow it he'll whole. So. It. Yeah, it's good to break it up for him. Alright, Frank. What do you think he likes more, this or the filet mignon from Food and Wine? Yeah, I think he, he likes the flaming really on more. He really likes steak. But he also really likes anything. Oh, you gotta find that crumb, Frank. It's right there. Oh, he found it. <laughs>